Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of new information to go over for the Indigo Disc DLC. The Japanese previews have now been translated and we have a load of new images to go over. Also new information about the legendaries and other gameplay features as well. There's a lot of stuff to break down and get into today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the latest information for the Indigo Disc DLC. Subscribe if you're brand new new ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off we have some new screenshots to go over quite a lot of screenshots as well um so this is the first one where we have the female protagonist and also our caladon in the background quite a funny uh facial expression from our caladon there uh we then have this screenshot here which doesn't look to be an outbreak even though there's like quite a few um, I mean, I think there's quite a few Oricoros. I don't know what these kind of ball things are. I don't know if they're Oricoros or something else. Maybe some sort of mini game. But obviously in the bottom right, there is no Oricorio um, outbreak. So I don't know what these kind of pinkish things are. Um, but either way, Oricorio, they're in the wild, confirming that all like the different forms are going to be spawning in the Indigo Disc, or at least this form. Um, and then the next image is Flygon being used with the new Synchro Machine. So this confirms that probably all Pokemon are going to be usable in this Synchro Machine kind of thing. Like, we thought it might just be, like, a small selection uh, from yesterday's trailer because we only saw, like, Pikachu and a couple of Pikachu clones. Um, but this image shows Flygon flying as well, so we can actually fly around the map with these uh, different Pokemon. So that's going to be really, really cool. And then this is another screenshot here where we're using Meowth Garada. Um, and it looks like there is some sort of mini game here as well. It says zero out of three. So I'm assuming there's things that we can do whilst in this Synchro Machine, like maybe tasks or challenges or something like that. And that allows us to uh, maybe get items or something. Maybe a little bit like Ogre Austin. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued what this zero out of three is. Because we know that we can battle Pokemon and stuff like that whilst we're in this. I'm not sure what the situation is if we find a shiny. Like if you find a shiny, maybe it just disappears or something by the time you get to it. No idea. But either way, those are some new screenshots. We also have these screenshots as well. So this is kind of explained a little bit more um, on a different tweet that we're going to go over soon. But yeah, this seemingly shows um, battle points being able to be spent on these like different trainers or something like that. Either way, like I said, there's a detailed explanation we'll go over in a second. This is just the new screenshot um, that we're going over right now. We also have this image here as well, which looks to be for the kind of Blueberry Academy room, how many people you can invite. Um, it looks to be 23. Um, I don't know if you can mix and match who you can invite or that is just the the actual uh, roster of uh, people there. So we have those images. We also have these ones as well. Um, so we have Oshawott's here um, that are kind of going up to the trainer. And it does look like an outbreak. But again, there is no outbreak in the bottom right on the map. But there are five Oshawott's here. So maybe it's just going to be that we find a ton of like these star Pokemon together. And it's not in like um, an outbreak or something like that. Or um, that the outbreak just isn't showing up on the map for whatever reason. But either way, it's going to be nice to know that you can find a bunch of these starter Pokemon all to uh, all together. So that's that. Next up, we also have uh, Chimchar and Scorbunny. There's also a Scorbunny in the uh, the background there as well. So I'm assuming you can also find starter Pokemon like together. Uh, but this is like in the icy area, so I don't know what these are doing here. But either way, um, I, I feel like it's going to be a lot easier to kind of encounter these starter Pokemon um, in the wild, which is uh, really cool. I'm guessing there's something that can happen that makes them spawn more frequently because um, this is like... This isn't what I would expect. I'd expect them to be quite difficult to find. But either way, that's that screenshot. Uh, this is a bunch of Chinchino here as well. Uh, we do have an outbreak though in the bottom right. So outbreaks do show up on the map. Um, and then we also obviously have a terrestrialized uh, Pokemon over there in the corner too. But yeah, this is like a bunch of Chinchino. Maybe you just find like hordes a lot more frequently or something like that. Um, so that's that image. Uh, we also have uh, these images to go over as well. This was tweeted out by Poke Expert. So we have Rayquaza here. So this is obviously the Rayquaza encounter um, at the top of a mountain. Remember, these are taking place in Paldea. Um, we also have this screenshot here of the female protagonist in front of the Blueberry Academy. This is also a fly spot as well, which is very, very useful because I'm assuming you're going to be one of flying back to the Blueberry Academy and then back to like Paldea and stuff, especially for these um, legendary Pokemon quests and stuff like that. We then have this image here, which seemingly is deep into Area Zero, but at the same time, there is a fly spot here. 
So, it, so that's that's interesting. Like, we obviously... A lot of people think this could be, like, kind of charged stone cave and stuff like that. We do have Joltik and Galvantula here. Um, but it's interesting that this does have a fly spot. So whether this is... Uh, a fly spot that you're able to get into in area zero or not no idea but either way uh take from that what you will and then this is the last image where this is uh the the, the person that basically tells you about the synchro machine i think this is her actually giving us the uh the synchro machine which allows us to obviously take control of uh the starter pokemon um and then this is a bit more of a detailed explanation about uh, what uh kind of is going on with these uh images so we have poke experto here saying the league club can host up to 23 different pokemon scarlet and violet characters to do this you have to spend blueberry points so yeah you have to spend the uh, the bp to be able to recruit these kind of gym leaders whatever uh elite four members and you can have up to 23 different characters in your blueberry uh academy league club so that's what that image is kind of talking about uh this image is talking about uh th that image um th this tweet is talking about that image that we didn't really know what was going on uh so this is joe Mango here saying this bit from the japanese previews is the part that intrigues me the most you can spend battle points or blueberry points to get more pokemon to spawn in the terrarium presumably this will be to activate starters but can't say for sure yet so um obviously we know that to get starter pokemon it's through like quests and missions i feel like everyone keeps forgetting that but nintendo literally tweeted it out a couple of months ago because i remember going over it in a video uh, when, when nintendo was literally like complete quest in order to obtain these stars so you have to complete a quest to get the stars. Maybe it's similar to what you have to do with the legendaries with like the snacks and stuff. But then maybe to get them to spawn more frequently, um, you can spend like battle points. Maybe that's why um, in like these images, uh, we do have like loads of Oshawa and stuff like that. Maybe that's what you have to do with um, with, with with the battle points and stuff. And maybe that makes them uh, like spawn a little bit more frequently. So anyway, that's that uh, image. Next up, uh, the Synchronizer allows you to control flying Pokemon, and with them, it is possible to advance beyond uh, ravines in the, the game without falling. So, yeah, it's going to be cool that you're going to be able to use, like, flying Pokemon and be able to find, like, different kind of locations and stuff. Uh, again, it looks like it's going to be all Pokemon because, like, flying on Miascarada, very, very random Pokemon, but um, it, it very well could just simply be, like, a small collection. We'll have to wait and see. And then moving on. We also have this information here as well. So uh, legendary Pokemon appear at level 70 and have their own appearance music inspired by that of their original game. So this is confirmed now from the Japanese previews. All legendary Pokemon will be at level 70 and have their own uh, personal themes and stuff like that, which is really, really useful. So this is basically all of the information from the Japanese previews that's added on to what we didn't know yesterday. So this is posted on Cerebi. Um, so following the news drop yesterday, some more Japanese previews by outlets, including Famitsu, and uh, Denfami Naiko Gamer have been released uh, for the Indigo Disc, which contain a variety of clarifications for features with Blueberry uh, points earned through Blueberry Quest. You can support for a, uh, you can get support for a variety of elements in the League Club. One such example is using 3,000 uh, Blueberry points to increase the amount of Pokemon that appear in specific areas of the Terrarium. So it costs 3,000 um, points to kind of make Pokemon appear more frequently. So it must be relatively easy to get blueberry points because that's a lot to get like pokemon to spawn and again we don't know how long they spawn for like maybe it's like 30 minutes or an hour or something like that maybe like the same as sandwiches but yeah hopefully it's a lot easier to get uh battle points there and then also you'll be able to invite 23 people to the league club and it will cost battle points to do it and the next up the synchro machine can be used with any pokemon in the game so it has been confirmed now that it is any pokemon including flying pokemon to the point that if you go off a ledge as a flying pokemon the pokemon will remain in flight and not fall down and then legendary pokemon such as rayquaza appear at level 70 and the music matches their appearance in their prior games such as rayquaza having the theme battle super ancient pokemon so that's all of the extra information from the previews and the images and stuff like that uh, moving on we of course have new events that have started today um, but we actually have increased shiny chances for these events as well so cerebi here tweeting out Saying, a Cerebi update, we have full details of the new mass outbreak event featuring Flabebe and Litwick in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, including the shiny rate in our new section. So, um, this is a bit crazy. So, basically, you can get all forms of Flabebe, which is really cool, in Paldea, but they have a boosted shiny chance of 0.5%. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it is absolutely ridiculous. And we actually have the, the shiny boosted chances here from Anubis, who of course is one of the data miners in the community. So 
The new event outbreaks for Flamebe and Litwick have a shiny rate bonus of 0.5%. This is the first time these outbreaks have had an increased shiny rate. Millistery isn't out yet, because of course that's dropping with the Indigo Disc, but if it has the same shiny rate bonus, these numbers will still apply. Um, this is quite a bit higher than usual shiny rates for regular outbreaks, but the effects of having shiny charm, clean, uh, clearing Pokemon, or using sparkling power are relatively less. Your choice if you still want to do extra things. Here are the normal outbreak shiny rates for comparison. So this is the boosted shiny rate. So basically, um, with these, only with these outbreaks, you clear 50, like this is just the base shiny rate with only the event bonus. So if you just go up to the outbreak, you have a 1 in 190 chance of finding a shiny. So literally, you can get like, I don't know, 15, 20 to spawn. So if you just run back and forth a few times, it's not going to take that long to get a shiny. Because 1 in 190 is ridiculous. Because, mind you, the, with the, the, the sparkling power level 3, with an outbreak and, and everything that's completed, that's usually like a 1 in 512 or whatever. This is a 1 in 190 with nothing. The, like nothing done at all. Um, if you clear 30 to 59, it's a 1 in 182. And if you clear 60 plus, it's 1 in 174. So that is without the shiny charm. That's just if you clear 60 plus Pokemon, it goes up to a 1 in 174. And if you haven't got the shiny charm, you got the sparkling level 3, it goes to a 1 in 154. Um, so basically, the best possible odds you can have is with the shiny charm, 60 plus outbreak, and sparkling power level 3, it's a 1 in 44. So as you can see, having all of this doesn't really change much from a 1 in 190 to a 1 in uh, 144. I think you're absolutely fine just having the shiny charm and clearing 60 because that's a 1 in 160. So it's only a 16 difference. So you don't really need to waste sparkling power. Uh, but yeah, this is a much, much boosted, much more boosted in increase in like shiny odds and stuff like that. So yeah, it's not going to be difficult to get shinies at all for these. So if you are going to want to get all the different Flamebe patterns and stuff, then this is definitely the way to do it because it's a 1 in 190 just base odds. Absolutely ridiculous. So uh, same with Litwick as well. That's going to be a 0.5. Most likely the same for Milstery as well if you are trying to get all the different Alcremies. Um, but either way, that's that event. And then also moving on, we have the new Dialga and Palkia raids as well. So Cerebi update, we have full details of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Terror Raid battle event, including moves and rewards. So Dialga uh, has Draco Meteor, Earth Power, Fire Blast, and Steel Beam. Fairy types, not good for this raid because it does have Steel Beam. And the additional moves it has are Trick Room, Stealth Rock, and Iron Defense. And it also has Telepathy as well as its ability is Quiet Nature. And then this is what it does when you like take HP off and whatever. So it uses Trick Room, it uses Stealth Rock, also Iron Defense when you get it to those kind of like HP remainings. These are the items you get with it. Obviously, you can catch it once. And then we have Palkia, who has Telepathy as well. Draco Meteor, Thunder, Fire Blast, Hydro Pump, Gravity, and Rain Dance. So also, um, this thing has Thunder. So Azumarill, not going to be great for this raid because it has Rain Dance and Thunder. So it can't miss Thunder on you. So that's not ideal. It's Modest Nature. And obviously, this is what it does when uh, you get it so far down. So it uses Gravity, Rain Dance, uh, and then Rain Dance again. So yeah, no idea what's good for these raids. I've not really looked at the, the best builds and stuff. But of course, I need to do these because I need to get Diagra and Power Kit in these games. Uh, but uh, yeah, they are the kind of uh, raids that are also available. So that is all of the latest information for the Indigo Disc DLC and the latest events as well. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider hitting the like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It does really help out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the latest information. Uh, subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me though. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.